Hello and welcome to Bobbin Talk. If you're interested in accessory design, check out my accessory design book. It is a textbook that is widely used throughout the world in various fashion design colleges and it follows the process of accessories from design to prototyping, sketching, illustration and manufacturing. You can find a link to the book in the description below. Next, I want to create the chain for the bag. So we're going to take a look at the picture, see what the chain looks like. And we're going to take a snapshot just of a small section of the chain so I can have a reference in Clo. In Clo, I already have a, a pattern piece, a rectangle created, and I brought in the picture as a print. And now we're going to go to the 2D window and we'll create the chain links and we'll export them as an OBJ file. Next, I'm going to grab my internal ellipse tool, shortcut R. I'm going to come here within the pattern just to make sure that I get the right size and shape. So I'm going to create an ellipse as close as possible to the original shape. And you can edit that shape a little bit if necessary. This looks just about right. And once you're happy with the shape, you can select the whole shape with the edit pattern tool, right click on it and clone as pattern. You can place the pattern next to it. And now we're going to create the actual link. I'm going to make sure that all all of my lines are selected. I'm going to right click and I'm going to offset as internal line. And here you can judge whatever you think is the right size. For me about 0 0.2, 0 0.125 seems just about right. So I'm going to click OK. And while this line is selected, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to convert to whole. So here we go. We have the first link. Notice that we have some sharp angles here. That's because we have, that's because I have particle distance 20. Changing the particle distance to a lower number like 10 or even 5 or maybe 2 if your computer can handle it will give you a much smoother shape. Next I want to measure the link that I created and there are quite a few different ways you can do it. But I'm going to come down to the 3D window and work with garment measure tool. Just left click on that linear measure for garment and click in the beginning where you want to measure then hold shift and click at the end of it and it's a little difficult to actually grab the exact points but here I have 2.307 inches and I'm going to show you a different way here in the 2D window. So here I'm going to grab the polygon and I'm simply going to draw a line from point to point and here I can be a lot more exact. So I'm just going to click on this line as a beginning and then just extend this. I'm not clicking on anything. I'm just going to go to the last point and here I get 2.26. So almost the same. Let's say it's 2.3 that is too big that's two and a quarter inches i'm gonna grab the whole link and i'm gonna just shrink it a bit you could also take a look at the grid here and keep in mind that if yours is one inch by one inch then you can judge the size that way too i want my links to be less than one inch and if we take a look at the bag we'll see that these were about an inch so the links should be just a bit larger than half of that so maybe about three quarters an inch five eight just about half of that so that would be smaller than one of these squares but maybe a little bit larger than half and that might be about the right size so I'm going to align it here with the wall of this square and just kind of take a look at it and see what that looks like. So that's just about a little over half and you can adjust it to whatever size you like. I am happy with this size link and we can now create a copy of this link. So I'm going to grab copy and paste an additional link and I'm going to interlink them here in the 3D window. Next, I'm going to make sure that my whole shape is selected, all of the lines, and I'm going to open up Object Browser and Property Editor. And I'm going to come down in Property Editor and look for under Simulation Properties, I'll look for Additional Thickness Rendering, and I'm going to add some thickness to this. So I'm going to add two to begin with and see what it looks like. And then I can go open both my 2D, 3D window, and I want to see if I am happy with with the thickness that I have. If you don't see the thickness, make sure that here you're under thick texture surface. If you're not on the thick texture surface, you will not be able to see the actual thickness. This looks about right. And I can also come here and measure and make sure that I am happy with the width of my links. Now that I have one of my links ready, I'm ready to bring in the bag and do a strap arrangement. Now it would be much easier to create an arrangement that is very simple, maybe just hanging off the bag or just one strap or even 
even a strap that is kind of going straight up that would be much easier instead of trying to create a strap like here which is laying on the floor and going around the bag we're going to try and do one of these or we can go vertically straight up so let's go back to close i want to know what's the shape of my bag i will bring the bag itself so i can arrange the links around it so i'm going to add the file of the bag make sure that you're adding it you're not just opening it if you open it you will lose the link and we can bring that back in that's not a problem either if it's exported as an object but i want to create the whole chain strap and then export that as an object so the bag is a bit here to the side i'm going to bring it right in the middle and we don't need this chain anymore and we will delete that as soon as we finish and now we can start doing the arrangement so again the easiest will be if we just do this arrangement up here or we can create a straight up chain chain that goes up and maybe the bag is hanging onto something. I'm going to start with just this one link and the goal here is to create the chain itself then we'll delete the bag in the background and we'll export the chain as an obj file and then we'll bring it back as one full complete strap so it stays on the bag not individual links. We don't have a way of staying this together. Right now I'm just going to start kind of working on the arrangement and putting these in place of how they need to be and I'm going to follow the shape here that we have already. As soon as I finish one I can go to the 2D window and create another one. So we're going to grab this one and copy and paste and then come back to the 3D window and create the next one. So I just want to have the correct shape or the arrangement here for this particular strap and that's the goal. <music> So I have about half of the strap ready. For the other half, I will copy all of the chain links and I will mirror paste them on the other side and create similar arrangement on this side. But at least I will have most of it ready and that will allow me to have a quicker, faster arrangement point. So at this point, I am ready to delete the fake chain. So I will come to the 2D window and grab this and just delete it. And now I have a better look at what my chain looks like. And this obviously can be arranged a little better, so it's a little closer. Let's see if I can grab the whole thing and just bring it closer. And obviously you can work with individual links and make sure that they're in the right place for you and your accessory to have the perfect look.
So once you're finished with the arrangement, you could very well take pictures of this file and have this as your finished bag. You can adjust the colors here. This seems to be a bit too purple for this bag. Obviously it needs to be a bit more bluish and you can bring this to five particle distance for everything and then uh, take your snapshot or turntable, whatever you like. But you cannot simulate anymore. If you click simulate, this is what will happen. Everything will fly away. In order to have a solid strap here we will need to export this as an obj file and then bring it back as an avatar let's do that make sure that you have this file saved and then i will delete all of the handbag files and i will leave only the chain so i'm going to delete everything select only the patterns delete them and then I'm going to get rid of this trim and all I have in the window right now is this chain in the arrangement that you want. Once we have this, we can now export this as an object, file, export, obj make sure that you're on single object thick everything else looks good click ok and you can also save this as a project so you have it as a reference for later now we're ready to unite the bag and the strap so i'm just going to open up the file with the bag I'm going to click on open that will delete everything else that's in this window. Now we have the old chain links here that will fall apart if we simulate. So I'm just going to come to the 2D window and I'm going to delete them all. And now I'm going to bring in the new strap as an avatar. So you'll need to bring the file from wherever it is. Mine is under hardware and trims. I have a folder called my hardware and here I have my file and I'm going to add to workspace. I'm going to bring it as an avatar and I'm going to add it to the window. And here's my strap. We worked on the shape and the position of the chain for this particular bag. So the positioning should be good. And wherever you place it, it will stay there. Now, even if you click simulate, this is an avatar and it will not move. Now that's the good news and the bad news. The good news is that it doesn't move. It doesn't fall apart. The bad news is that if you move the bag, then you would have to move the avatar. The avatar will not move with the bag because it isn't placed on it. So I'm just going to arrange it as best as I can, wherever exactly I like it. And I'm very happy with my arrangement. And you can see the shadows, the chain is staying in place. You can create multiple chains. You can have one that's hanging one that's uh, going down the side or one that is going up whatever you like and from here on we can just work on rendering the bag and getting it into the position that we like one last thing i want to adjust here is the color of the chain and the trim it is really purple it is not quite as it appears on the actual bag and i can't really get the iridescent color right now unless i create some kind of a normal map but at least i can adjust it as best as i can i'm going to select the chain itself then I'll go to property editor and just adjust the color so I'm going to click under color on the little square and I'll go a little maybe a little more bluish or I can select the same exact blue color and just change the lightness of the color and just work with that I want to copy the same exact color here so that I can use it also for the trim and then I'll click on my trim and also go to the same color and I'll just paste the same color as I used in the strip strap click ok and this color now matches pretty much the bag now this is too matchy matchy it is not exactly as it appears on the bag so obviously you can play with this as much as you like and adjust the color how you like so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go for a contrast color i'd rather have something that is then very different than what we have right now so i'm going to go for a bright pink strap i'm going to copy that color click ok and then do the same thing for the trim and you use this color Obviously, you can adjust the hardware up here and create the color combination that you like best. To change the color of the trim here, remember that we added this as buttons. So click on it and come to the property editor, object browser, open both and come make sure that you're under buttons and select that particular button, which is our custom button. We created, we brought it in as this particular shape and then come down to the color and just change the color to 
whatever you like. I'm just going to create the same matching pink color. And now this will match the rest of my hardware. So that's my final bag. And you can create whatever you like. Obviously, you can change the color, the materials and anything else you like. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave comments under the video. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Bobby Talk for more videos and to watch the next part.